Hey guys! In the coming weeks, we'll be doing a lot of squats and lunges. Why? They are super effective moves at reshaping your lower body. They help lift your butt and they create definition in the front and back of your thighs, your hips, and your calves. So it is absolutely essential that you learn how to squat well and efficiently. Now, a lot of people with bad knees have been told not to squat, but here's the reality. We squat all day long. We sit down on chairs, we sit down on the toilet, we take the stairs, and we have to squat to pick things up. So if you don't know how to squat properly all day long, you're doing a number on your knees. So I wanna teach you how to squat and lunge without engaging your knees by using your muscles properly. And when you do that, you can then do all the moves and all the different variations and strengthen your body without ruining your knees. Let's start with the squat. Set yourself up with your legs hip width apart. Now check, your hip bones are here. These two bones protruding out the front. The hips are not here. That's how wide your legs are gonna be. Now stretch your arms out and sit down in that imaginary chair. All your weight shifts into your heels. You could lift your toes up. And now you're leaning your upper body back as if you're leaning against the backrest. Now with a squeeze in the glutes and the butt, you're lifting yourself back up. That's your squat. Let's do this again. Deep squat. Sit back. Lean back your upper body as if you're using a backrest or as if you're leaning against the wall. All your weight is in the heels. Lift your toes up. Squeeze your butt. Come back up. Let's do this one more time. Shift your weight back into your heels. Lean back and sit. Squeeze your butt. Come back up. So if you squat like that, you will never use your knees, but you're engaging the hamstrings, the quads, and the butt in all the right ways and keep your knees happy. Next move, the lunge. Set yourself up in a way that you're creating two 90 degree angles with your legs, one in the back, one in the front. Your hands are on your hips, your chest is sticking out, roll your shoulders back and together, draw your navel in. You are using your abs here, by the way. Now, with the front heel pushing into the floor, lift yourself back up and then drop your back knee down, almost touching the floor. Did your front heel in, lift back up. That is a proper lunge. You're always creating that 90 degree angle. What you don't wanna do is keep that knee in front of the toe. That creates pressure on the knee. As long as the knee is above the ankle, there is no knee engagement at all. All you do is bend and straighten the knee. Another thing about the squat that you don't wanna do, I see a lot of people squat like this, the lean forward. What you have to do absolutely crucial is keep your chest upright. If you're having trouble with that, start with a wall squat where you're sitting against the wall, keep your legs in a 90 degree angle, start that way. You will build up strength and endurance over time. All right guys, I look forward to working with you over the next six weeks. Take care.